Lupita Nyong'o as Nakia. He's back. E little darling, don't shed no tear. No woman, no cry. Beautiful costumes, beautiful scenery. Good friends we so, are, and good friends we've lost along the way. Dermalaje. In this great future, you can't forget your past. So dry oh. your teeth, I say. I think it's my kid who's pregnant. From there to Ryan Coogler. <gasps> Namor! November. Oh my gosh. Well, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Marvel Studios yesterday at Comic-Con revealed the first teaser trailer for the upcoming sequel of Black Panther. This one is titled Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And it, a lot to say about this. I have a lot to say. It does, the trailer does look really good. I mean, it's coming from director Ryan Coogler. He came back to the sequel and he is a very talented director. So he knows his stuff. And you could tell that he's bringing another wonderful story to tell in the world of Marvel, in the world of Wakanda. He's bringing it all to the table. So already I'm sold by the trailer. I can't wait to watch this in theaters. Now the sensitive topic that comes is to how are they going to handle T'Challa's character due to the fact that actor Chadwick Boseman sadly passed away two years ago to, due to cancer. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't really know. I wonder if Marvel knew. Um, I don't think they did since Chadwick Boseman was very secretive about his illness. From what I have heard from sources, I'm not truly sure. Someone could probably confirm that for me. Um, so, you know, tragically he passed and then later that year, Kevin Feige revealed to the public that they were not going to recast T'Challa because they felt like they wanted to pay their respects to Chadwick Boseman in regards to this character. However, as of late, there have been a lot of fans online um, basically being vocal about recasting T'Challa's character. So it's going to be very tough to see how they're going to do that. Um, you know, you have some people who want to pay their respects to the actor and to the character so they feel uncomfortable about recasting him. But then you also have another group of fans who want to see um, T'Challa's story arc continue and they want to see um, the Black Panther story continue. So it's kind of a tough spot. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know what to say. It's a very sensitive topic to talk about. I really would like to see T'Challa's storyline continue because for one, the movie is called Black Panther. I mean, even though when you see the logo, the title Wakanda Forever is in big font versus Black Panther is in little font. So it really emphasizes that Wakanda will be the main focus and I guess Black Panther will be in the background. 
But still, it is still called Black Panther forever. Well, kind of forever. So I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work. I really would like to see T'Challa's storyline continue because never have on screen have we ever had the T'Challa character. We had a bunch of Superman act actors, right? We had a bunch of Batman actors. So there's been a lot of recasts for those characters and reboots. So why not do it for Black Panther? But then again, when you think of the whole Marvel movies, they're all one continuous storyline. It, it's just very complicated at this point. The only thing that I can think of that could probably make both sides win at this point in terms of paying respects to Chadwick Boseman and in terms of continuing the story arc of T'Challa is if they bring in a T'Challa variant. Since, I mean, it was revealed at, I mean, this isn't a spoiler, it was revealed at Comic-Con this past weekend that the Marvel movie phases four through six is going to be known as the Multiverse Saga. Phases one to three was known as the Infinity Saga due to the Infinity Gems and Thanos. Well, this these new phases are now known as the Multiverse. I mean, and if you really think about it, Marvel lately has been very, um, you know, emphasizing a lot about the multiverse. We had last year, we had, you know, WandaVision, where Wanda is able to control reality. We had the animated series, What If, where we explored different multiverses. And even T'Challa had his own alternate uh, storyline as Star-Lord, right? And there was even an episode where T'Challa passed away from, by being killed early on by Killmonger. So, that storyline in a different multiverse does exist. We also had, of course, the recent Spider-Man movie where there are different versions, different variants of Peter Parker. It is the Peter Parker character, but there are alternate versions of the character. The same with the series Loki. We met different variants of Loki. We were introduced to Kang the Conqueror and the Timekeepers. And even Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, right? Where you're exploring different multiverses. That's all coming into, you know, the forefront in these Marvel movies. So it makes me wonder, because, I mean, we all saw it. We all saw at the very end of this trailer. Oh, sorry, guys. If you guys hear the sirens in the background, my bad. The, you know, Permex are doing their job. So yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, we all saw at the end of the teaser trailer that there is a new Black Panther. There's been a lot of speculation as to who it could be. We don't know if it's going to be Shuri, uh, Nakia, uh, M'Baku. We don't know. We really don't know. But it seems like we are getting a new Black Panther. The question is who. I personally, if you want to put please both sides, paying respects to Jav Chadwick Boseman, but also continuing the story of T'Challa, you should bring in a T'Challa variant in the multiverse realm. Maybe a T'Challa variant lost his family, lost his whole country, Wakanda, and he's trying to find a new home, and he happens to find this Wakanda in our um, universe, right? And he is the new T'Challa to our, you know, to our Marvel world, right? You, If it, that makes any sense. That's the only thing I could think of. If, if they bring in a T'Challa variant. But knowing, I don't know, but they have been very hush-hush about who the new Black Panther could be. It, it's gonna be a surprise. They've been really quiet about it. So I don't know. But this movie doesn't really seem to be focusing so much on the multiverse. So I don't, so I don't think that's the option they're taking, but it would be nice to see that. Again, I don't know guys, but other than that, just by judging the teaser trailer alone, this does look really exciting. I can't wait to see it. I am going to watch it. I am going to watch it. I'm probably going to even cry in theater, you know, of the fact that Chadwick Boseman is gone. So it's going to hit us hard. I'm pretty sure it's going to hit a lot of us hard and we're going to be crying throughout the whole movie. Other than that, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys uh, thought about the teaser trailer. And let me know what you guys think. Should they pay their uh, respects to Chadwick Boseman? Should they continue T'Challa's story arc? Um, recast, not recast, or should they bring in a T'Challa variant and have them please both sides? Share your comments down below, like and subscribe, and as always, take care guys. Bye!